Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office and thanks for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Wednesday, September 9th, the 15th week after Pentecost and week 3 in the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 53 and Philippians chapter 2, verse 1 through 11. And please join me in singing the fourth verse of Psalm 66, part 2, by Isaac Watts, to the tune of New Britain. If sin lay covered in my heart, while prayer employed my tongue, then you had shown me no nor I your praises sung. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Together, O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you overlook our faults and cast our sins behind your back that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God Grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, fools have said in their hearts, there is no God above. Alleluia, Psalm 53. And please recite it with me. Alleluia, fools have said in their hearts, there is no God above. They are corrupt and have done unspeakable things. There are none that are good. You look down from heaven, O God, on the peoples of the earth to see if there are any that understand, that seek you, O Most High. They are all faithless. They have become altogether filthy. There are none that are good. No, not even one. Don't the workers of iniquity know, who eat my people like they eat bread? They have not prayed to God. They were afraid when there was no need to fear. For God has scattered the bones of them that camped against Israel. You have put them to shame, because God despised them. Oh, that the salvation of Israel would come out of Zion. When God delivers the people, Jacob, Leah, and Rachel shall rejoice, and Israel shall be glad. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. A reading from Paul's letter to the Philippians, chapter 2, beginning at verse 1. If then there is any encouragement in Christ, any consolation from love, any sharing in the Spirit, any compassion and sympathy, make my joy complete. Be of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility regard others as better than yourselves. <clears throat> Let each of you look not to your own interests, but to the interests of others. And let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness, and being found in human form. He humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, 
even death on the cross. And therefore God also highly exalted Christ and gave Christ the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Here ends the lesson. And now let's offer our prayers and petitions, and please respond, hear our prayer. And please pardon the background noise, there are thunderstorms moving through the area. We thank you for bringing us safely to the end of this day, and we thank you for all the blessings you have granted us. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Deliver us from hardness of heart, Forgive us our sins and offenses, that your light may show forth from us. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who seek you, tender God, that they may find and be found. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That your will may be done in all that we undertake, to the benefit of ourselves and our families and friends the church, and all people. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Constance and her companions and all your saints, let us commend one another in all of our lives to Christ our God. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And for all of your intentions. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Grant us your wisdom, O tender God, and keep us faithful in your ways, that we may always seek you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.